Hey everybody, Justin Cena here. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use surveys to build the perfect Shopify store. This is super powerful, we'll jump right into it. And surveys are a store owner's best friend. If you're a Shopify store owner, you need to collect feedback from your customers. It's super important, but all you need to do is ask for those feedbacks, for that data, for that super valuable information that's gonna help you build that really massive Shopify brand. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this the right way because understanding what your customers want, what they want to buy, when they buy, it's super, super valuable. And a popular strategy is to use engaging, customizable surveys to get feedback from customers at just the right moments. That's a huge key there in terms of actually understanding what they want at certain points in their buying process. And there are some pain points that you're gonna run into if you wanna go ahead and implement this strategy in your Shopify store. First of all, there's no built-in way to do this with Shopify. You're gonna to need to use an app. I'm gonna show you the app that I use and the app must be super easy to use and require no prior technical skills at all. You don't need to be a coder or a developer or you know some rocket scientist in order to use this type of strategy. And most important, the app must be fully customizable and allow for surveys to be deployed on the storefront via email or even via SMS. And the ability to target different events, that's a real huge key, abandoned checkout, order fulfilled, right? Different events in their buying process, really important for us as store owners so then we can truly understand what customers want at different points of the buying experience. And we wanna be able to have multiple question formats so we can get all the information that we need, specifically we as in our brand or your brand, right? You're gonna to wanna to customize this so you get the data that you need and that you can take action on. And if you wanna implement this strategy, you're gonna use Zigpoll. And you see the link directly below this video. I highly recommend Zigpoll, incredibly powerful survey tool. It's an app in the Shopify app store. Again, you see the link directly below this video. I'm gonna show you the link. You see a perfect five out of five star reviews on over 200 reviews. Zigpoll customer surveys is by far the best app when it comes to creating these surveys and understanding the feedback that's gonna help you build that huge brand. And it's all about survey, understand, and improve. And if you're a fan of the lean startup methodology, something I talk about a lot, right? This is the whole idea. You're gonna go live, you're gonna get feedback, you're gonna understand and review that feedback, and then you're gonna improve your brand, not just based on some random kind of idea in your head, but in terms of real data that your customers are supplying you in these surveys. And we can have embedded post-purchase surveys really capturing them at the most important time, understanding how do they find us, why did they buy, right? Getting their motivations in terms of that. And there's 12 different question formats to build with. You see polling and stars, one to 10, different emojis, really cool, really visual, really engaging. It's an incredibly powerful tool. You could send email or SMS sur uh, surveys at pivotal moments. Think about this, sending a survey during an abandoned checkout or an order fulfilled, or an order paid, right? These different events, and literally you see a little example of how it looks. Really cool because we jump in at that perfect time to collect that data. You're gonna see all of your analytics right inside of the app as well, it's really cool. And you can get automatic insights, you get open-ended responses from people, and it's really cool in terms of this with our AI chatbot here. So the Zigpole kind of in implements the AI here to take things to another level. And I'm gonna go over the shoulder, I'll show you exactly what we can do with this app. We'll be able to set up post-purchase surveys, like where did you hear about us? Who is this purchase for? We can do things like order fulfillment surveys. How was your unboxing experience, right? We could send a, an SMS text message for a post-purchase survey, right? We could do abandoned checkout survey, all of these different types of surveys available right in here inside Zigpole. So all you need to do, press the install button. We're gonna go over the shoulder and I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it. So we'll install this app over here and I'll show you exactly step-by-step step over here. We're just gonna click install app. This gives permission between Zigpole customer surveys and your Shopify store. So everything happens automatically. And on your first load, you're gonna be brought over here into the dashboard. I'm gonna show you inside of a dashboard with some real information and real numbers so I could kind of walk you through each step. And it's gonna be the same on yours, even though you probably have zeros across the board, just getting started. You're gonna be on your dashboard here. You're gonna to start to see stats 
about the performance of your surveys. So we see responses, responses for our fixed choice versus open-ended. We have how many emails we've captured, how many participants we have in total. And as we scroll down here, we see our live surveys. We can come in here and edit these. I'll show you exactly how to do all that. And we even see some really quick stats and survey insights, kind of just in plain English, where you could just kind of read through and understand what's going on right now in terms of majority of customers were satisfied, several customers expressed a desire for more product variety, right? So you could literally kind of build your entire business off of the information that you're getting from Zigpole. And we're just getting some quick survey insights over here again, open count, close count, view count, participants, response rate, engagement rate, really just kind of showing quick stats at what everything is going on. This is for our post purchase survey. And uh, we can kind of click through, you see that there are multiple options over here, post purchase, different types over here, long answer, right? So we're getting quick information about all of the different steps inside the survey and really seeing what people are answering. So really cool, we can do the same thing over here for our abandoned checkout survey, see those quick stats right inside here. We got the long answer ones as well. You we could look at all individual responses right in this section. You could also get some deeper information over here. You see we have our different surveys that we can select and some time ranges over here. And we can go back and set our time range and generate a report with different pieces of information in here in terms of what we're actually going to ask for, right? We can go and ask for IP address and platform or region name, really whatever we want. And we'll start to pull all this information over here. So really useful, we'll get a lot of great data inside here as well, right? Talking about their responses and their satisfaction level all the way down to, of course, their email address and when they signed uh, or when they entered their information in here. Activity, kind of the same thing, just a uh, kind of a newsfeed style um, activity feed, what's going on, what people are responding to, what uh, or when they're responding, what poll they're responding to, individual responses found over here. This is really useful, especially when we see trends, right? And we can start to see trends over here to really kind of tell us, in this case, how are people hearing about us, right? And we can kind of go through here and say, well, the podcast keeps coming up, obviously worthwhile to continue marketing there. So just one example of being able to pull insights from really any page over here under your account metrics section. Here's more charts, right, where we're gonna be able to see kind of what's going on over here in terms of different votes and all the different, again, open-ended responses for your poll. Some more plain English insights over here. And, uh, you know, this is the cool AI part of this. You can really talk and kind of ask about insights in terms of, you know, what, should, what questions should we ask our customers or uh, when is the best time to uh, give a survey? We can go ahead and submit a question like that, we're going to get our response back over here, AI. So really cool. We have our email addresses as well. We can kind of take that out and um, import that into a list, or we can do integrations with popular emails right here. Clavio, you probably ha have, or MailChimp, right? Be able to send your Zigpoll email addresses right into these, uh, you know, very quick integrations with your favorite apps. They even have Slack, of course, Shopify is already on. So that's kind of the metrics section over here very easy and you know we can come in over here and we can go and preview a post purchase survey and we could edit a post purchase survey and uh, you know very easy to do and uh, we see how and where this is going to look as we come over here we can just take a look over here and see we have it at live or we have it at hidden right now so if you wanted to turn it off it would be very easy to do that as well and the cool part is that we see very uh, you know nothing technical it's all visual here and i'm going to walk you through Kind of creating one of these but you see that they're basically just options that we need to go through and really just kind of figure out what we want to do and this is the post purchase survey here we have different display options we have visibility options right we literally have even targeting options over here so we could have only certain users seeing this survey but we're going to go back into the dashboard over here and i'm going to go click new survey and very very easy to do this we could build one manually but there's so many different great templates here it makes it very easy our job is super easy because all we really need to do is choose from the type of survey that we want you see that there are a ton of different surveys and templates that we can create here so we really it's as simple as just kind of reading what the survey is general post-purchase survey understand where customers come from and how they feel right we have a couple different types of those we have abandoned checkout engage your users after an abandoned checkout and win them back, right? Really, really powerful here. And the idea is that we want to understand why they abandon checkout, right? Maybe it's the product prices. Maybe there's a trust issue. Maybe there is too high of a shipping cost. But when we're going to actually go ahead and ask these questions and you see that there are different questions over here, right? Some long answers, some range, right? And you see it's very visual, very easy for people to answer over here. And we give them a reward at the end over here, that 10% off. 
in order to incentivize them to actually finish it. And abandoned checkout, like I said, understanding why you didn't convert. This is just one example. Post-purchase, on the same reason, right? We want to know why, wh why did they convert? Right, and you see over here, this is an example of a zig pole in action right now. What's the primary reason that stopped you from making a purchase today? I'll say uh, shipping costs, you know, and you're going to start capturing all this information. What would have been required for you to complete the purchase? Uh, free shipping, right? And now on, on you as the store owner, you start getting all these responses and looking at them in your dashboard, right? We saw all the stats. You're going to say, well, 20 people have said that we want free shipping on here. So maybe you adjust your price up a little bit to offset that free shipping and then change that product to get free shipping. And you would only have known that because you're doing these surveys, all right? So that's the idea. What we're doing is building this right now on our store. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this template into uh, this setup over here. So that's kind of what it's going to look like. Now we want to talk about where is it going to show up. And, you know, pretty simple in terms of this, you know, we have uh, an abandoned checkout. So we want to be uh, kind of going with that. So it's going to make sense to go with abandoned checkout over here. But there are different variations for what we can do. You know, order paid, order canceled, right? Different ideas. And, you know, you could just do a general survey about the brand on the homepage right over here. So it doesn't have to just be based on actions. Although these are, you know, kind of the best actions because they really involve um, big decisions, whether they bought or whether they abandoned checkout or what they think about the product. But you could always just capture, you know, basic surveys, even exit intent, or you want to know why people are leaving, do something like that. So very simplistic. What I'm going to do now is just I'll call this example uh, video abandonment and we'll click create survey. So we have our visual drag and drop editor over here. And this is, you know, they call them slides, but they're basically just the different options for people to answer in here. And let's say you want to go through these different ones and edit a specific question. We come over here and you could just edit to anything you want, right? You can, you know, if you want to change this question completely out and do something totally different, totally easy to do that. If you don't want it to be a long answer anymore, that's no problem either, right? We can come down here to multiple choice, for example. And you could say, would free shipping have sealed the deal today? You could add an image if you want as well. We're going to come over here and of course, we only need two, yes, no, right? And the cool thing is you could even add in a little bit of your voice in here. Um, Right, start adding some brand. It doesn't have to be yes or no, right? Really easy to do. You could even do things like dynamic answers. So there could be options for open-ended responses over here. If you want people to be able to fill in their own thing here, you could have logic as well that says, you know, based on what they did in the previous slide or previous question, how to answer that. So when you're done, you know, kind of making your update to the slide, you just press update, right? And then we go back to the slides and you see that we have, whoops, go back to our slide over here. We have our now, this one was before a long answer, now it's a multiple choice. Okay, so very, you know, this wouldn't, uh, this wouldn't be a question you would ask post-purchase, of course. This is an abandonment cart one. And we could add slides as well, right? And as we click through here, we're kind of seeing what the customer sees and, you know, finishing off again with that coupon code over here. So really cool. And what we need to do now, make it visible, right? This is now going to turn this on really easy to do over here. And if we want to come back, add slides, we could do that. We've got a question bank over here of really popular questions that make a lot of sense to add. So you can come over here and add any of these pre-made slides. Zigpole makes it incredibly easy for you to do that. And we have options for uh, the widgets as well in terms of how we want things to look, in terms of how we want colors, right, on our email, on our SMS, on our page. We can turn on our custom um, branding here and match to our theme. So I've got a red and blue theme. I'll keep the blue that they have there, but I'll go ahead and implement some uh, nice red here to match my theme. Okay, and you see how it's going to look over here. And, you know, we're talking about this site with a red and blue logo with blue pretty much all over the place. You know, we want this to fit in nicely. So I think, I think that looks pretty good, right? We could change fonts. We could change border radius width. You'll see that the border will change in terms of the radius. Go very round corners. We can go square corners, right? You see the literally the ability to change everything. Uh, really popular down here, right? Where do we want it to show? And the bottom right is the most popular, kind of the default. But you could certainly make it bottom left if you want. You could make it middle left. You could make it really wherever you want in terms of these sections over here. And uh, what we want to avoid is the top, of course. So you're going to probably pick between one of these two: bottom left, bottom right. Coming over here, the size of the uh, survey in terms of how big is it taking up on the page, right? So we can go over here to default. If you want it to take up less space, 
you could do that as well. We have the launcher as well. It's so basically just you see this little arrow down here, so they could always come back to that. We're going to hide that for now. And you have more options really throughout, right? So we're just saving changes over here, going through. We have our visibility over here as well. We can do custom settings in terms of when will this, um, oops, we already have custom settings, right? When will this show? So we'll be able to do that. We have our targeting as well, so we can do individual uh, targeting down here. Show to 100% of the traffic. Maybe you, you don't want to bother everyone. Maybe you're only going to do 10% of the traffic will get this survey. Right, or maybe you really want everyone to see it, do 100%. Right, you could say uh, referral traffic, right? Only from Facebook, right? So we could have only times when people come from Facebook are they going to get a survey. Okay, we could do anyone coming from a search engine, probably most likely Google, right? All traffic except people, maybe we're doing Facebook ads and we're doing Instagram ads and we don't want anyone to, uh, to get a survey through our paid ads. So we could do something like that. So really, really easy. Do you have geography as well, right? We can just pick uh, specific countries that we want to show to, specific languages, specific browsers, right? We want to see how the mobile experience is. We could only show for, uh, let's say, iPhone, right? Or we don't show for, um, you know, laptop, desktop. Contain IP addresses as well. Show to visitors in terms of first time or returning, right? Maybe, again, we don't want to bother new visitors over here. We just let them take a look at that uh, only if they're returning. Or we just show it to everyone. And we could also say show it when, let's say we don't want them to see the survey until they uh, look at three pages on the site. Full control over the targeting. Language, if you need to override and do a translation, you could do that over here. You could send emails over here uh, to get people to fill out the, um, the survey, get it done quicker. All right, really easy to do that. And you have emails in terms of your overall email address section over here as well. You could upload emails as well to put them inside of here. And then manage again, we just kind of have some generic options. We have a public link. You could use this if you wanted to copy and paste this and maybe send this in an email or something like that. This will go to the exact survey that we created. But of course, this is going to be embedded on our store. So this is exactly what we set up. We see our colors and all that great stuff. Really, really easy to do. Again, all you need to do is just simply turn it on. If we wanted to turn it off, we could toggle this back down here. See, it goes back to invisible mode and we turn it back on. Simple to do and unlimited amounts of surveys that you can create. So that was Zigpole customer surveys. And go ahead and create as many surveys as you like. You see just how easy it is, just how powerful it is to use this. And again, I highly recommend it. You're gonna be able to get so much information from your customers at the exact right time. It's gonna give you everything you need, all the insights, all the feedback, all the data, all the planning that you could ever need to build that massive Shopify brand. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I hope this helps you make a lot of money. I'll talk to you real soon.